I completed the impossible challenge. One player versus 12 insane cheater free AIs. The hardest AI available in StarCraft. You could always see 1 versus 7, but this time it's 1 versus 12, and this is my final attempt. Enjoy. So talking a little bit about the map that I am playing on, it's the 1 versus 12 uh, Ring of Fire, where you are starting in the center of the map, and the map is kind of split in two a little bit by the minerals in the middle of the map. These minerals are blocking the other six AIs from attacking you at first, so if you are going to be rushed by all 12 of them, it's only going to be the six of uh, the AIs that are going to be able to approach it because they need to mine the minerals. There's also a backdoor uh, mineral patches in your natural base uh, where the AI is going to be uh, mining this uh, as well later on into the game. So you have to worry about basically one single entrance for the time being and then later on the AI is going to be opening up uh, the map more so you will need to prepare some defenses there. Talking about the build that I was uh, testing the most, I think going for the one gate expand uh, is the best thing that I uh, could possibly go for. I was also experimenting with Nexus first, but it got a little bit worse when the AIs were rushing me and I was not able to defend. So I was going for one gate expand, doing a lot of cannons and then try to defend with uh, lots of cannons, batteries, sentries to block the ramp and then disruptors to eventually try to uh, clean up the big armies that are going to be coming my way. In a lot of my attempts, I did not get rushed very often, but in this attempt, I got already rushed by a couple of AIs. We are three minutes into the game. I am happily making my tech choices, going for the robotics bay to start disruptors, and I already see first links in my base before I even have the cannons ready. Luckily, I have a couple of sentries to buy myself a little bit of time, and I immediately try to uh, pre uh, prevent the AI from dealing crucial amount of damage, but I see more rotors approaching, so I build a little bit more cannons, but I'm far away from the comfortable position. Most of the time I also made like a full wall of here between the cybernetic score and the gateway there was also a forge, but I messed up my first pylon positioning, so I had this little hole between the cybernetic score and the gateway. But that didn't really matter that much for me and I thought I might actually use this a little choke when I have the disruptors to use the disruptor shots uh, through, through the choke. The first struggle begin before I have the first disruptors. I only have a couple of cannons here and I see a significant amount of army uh, going in there. Luckily I survived to the first disruptor. I'm waiting for the gateway to be destroyed because it's buying me a little bit more time. I, f I completed the wall of with a pylonder because I thought I might need the additional couple of seconds. And I am una uh, unavailable to make another sh shield battery overcharge, so I'm thinking that this is going to be one of those attempts where I just die in, in the first five minutes. The gateway got destroyed, so I've used the first disruptor shot to clean up half of the army. And luckily for me, I was able to survive the first attack of the AIs without losing any economy uh, or anything like that. So that was uh, very good for me to uh, only lose a couple of gateways, a couple of cannons, a little bit of minerals, and start gathering energy on the sentries and disruptors for the future attacks.
I'm adding additional robotic facility because what I learned is that the disruptor count has to be quite large. Most of the time in like normal standard games, you want to have, let's say, at a maximum of like eight, eight disruptors or something like that. But in these games, the more disruptors, the merrier really. Because later on into the game, where the AIs are going to be swarming you with amount of units and big units as well, like Tors and Ultralisks, you need three disruptor shots to kill an Ultralisk, three disruptor shots to kill a tank, and like double disruptor shots to kill the Immortals or Siege tanks that are going to be inevitably coming as well. I see that I'm quite safe right now, so I'm slowly transitioning into the Stargate units. And the unit of choice for Stargate is going to be Tempest for me, which I think is the best unit for, for, uh, for holding on right now. Simply because of its range, and uh, I can combine it with, uh, with the shield batteries and the cannons, and they can kind of stay safe. If I will be choosing carriers, the problem with the carriers early on is the interceptors are going to be uh, dying over time. So I'll be losing more uh, money over time. And it's very important to keep your uh, economy high while not losing uh, as much. So basically you want to trade as efficient as possible. With carriers, you're going to be losing the interceptors, which cost money and time, of course, to rebuild the interceptors. With Tempest, I'm mostly safe against the ground army uh, because of the disruptors and the ramp coming into my main base. And uh, I also uh, can park the Tempest above the cannons and the shield batteries once again. Uh, to prevent them from being killed by uh, the air army of the AI most of the time. What I learned is also uh, very important to have a good SimCity. Right now I'm killing my pylon, which possibly could be blocking my disruptors from uh, retreating. So now I have a pretty good SimCity of batteries and cannons. But there are some situations where the AI is like pushing forward with a couple of immortals, and I don't want to be losing even a single disruptor in this situation. So I'm, I'm basically created there a pathway for the disruptors to retreat. I also keep the sentries around for the for the force fields to have consistently uh, a, a, a possibility to block the block the run through the force fields, and I start upgrading slowly. Shield upgrades are going to be the most efficient here for me uh, because the batteries are going to be healing the cannons, the tempest, and so on, and it's also benefiting my buildings. I'm not even going to be investing into the armor or attack upgrade uh, for ground because I will never be using gateway units. So all my focus is going to be on air upgrades for attack and armor and shield upgrades for uh, everything else. In a lot of my attempts, the AI was also taking my expansion uh, very early on, the, the low ground one. And uh, so I'm, I, I want to check there if, uh, if they want to Take this expansion because I'm really uh, going to be starving on middles uh, later on into the game. So every middle patch that is going to be mining is very important for me. Here comes the second attack, but I have a lot of disruptors. And now with the amount of units that are available on the map, that the computer starts to lag a lot throughout the game. You're going to be seeing a lot of juicy disruptor shots in this game. The first Tempests are out, I can start building more cannons on the left side. What's also important in this challenge is how you build your buildings. Like I said, I mentioned the SimCity, because the main base is quite small to play a very, very long game, because you need a lot of buildings of cannons and shield batteries, and you only have so much. I almost blew up my sentries here with a disruptor shot, not sure if you guys noticed. <laughs> So yeah, it's very important how you build your buildings here. So I'm trying to build the cannons on the left side, the batteries in the middle, uh, because they have the higher range, and I want the cannons to take the aggression of the AI. So the batteries can heal, and the cannons can kind of tank the damage instead of the Tempest or the Disruptors. These are the most expensive, expendable units slash structures that I can uh, use. Now I need to slowly start preparing for the air attacks, or like drops from the AIs, around 12th, 13th minute mark. The AI start to attack from multiple angles with air units like Corruptors, uh, Broodlords and so on, if they of course have the Broodlords. So I need to start making cannons in my bases because they are, they are the most exposed. I'm not so much afraid of the frontal attack right now, because I have so many Disruptors and so many Tempests and a very good uh, cannon and battery ratio. So I'm, I'm feeling quite confident in this game for now. 
in a lot of my attempts, only like one expansion, especially the north one, this one exactly, I was attacked most of the time from uh, from my AIs. So I was trying to predict where the AI is going to be attacking me from. I leave a couple of Tempests there because most of the time what the AIs do is they just use Caustic Spray from the Corruptors on like cannons, assimilators and so on, which is quite annoying to rebuild because like I said, every single piece of middle is very important. And there's the first Caustic Spray harassment from the AI. I timed my static defenses perfectly. I got a big fungal there and <laughs> I got a bit worried that I might lose a single Tempest here. At this moment I got quite surprised because I got harassed by the 6th o'clock on the 6th o'clock base by the AI. I didn't have any cannons prepared and I lost an assimilator. Luckily the AI just ran away with the corruptors and didn't target fire the nexus that could be uh, quite hard for me. So far I feel very comfortable in my position. Uh, I have a lot of disruptors, lots of tempest and I feel like I will not be able to be broken by the ground uh, for the time being. I also easily saturated all of my expansions so my economy is looking good. And I feel like this is a good run for me so far. I'm starting to prepare the static defenses in other expansions, just to not to lose additional minerals. I'm trying to prevent the AI from gathering minerals from this side. Like I said, every piece of mineral is quite important. I'm trying to pre uh, prepare the cannons on this side of the expansion as well, because like I said, eventually the AI will try to break this uh, position and try to mine these middles, because there will be no more middles on the map, so the AI wants to gather all, uh, all the available middles on the map, so they will try trying to get to your natural there. So I'm building cannons to prevent that, because I want to only defend from one position. Here comes a big army. I see a lot of vipers and so much army from the AI. I got quite surprised to see this big of an army and the AI even losing using blinding cloud on the cannons and storms on the disruptors. This is a first close hold for me because I'm losing additional cannons. Lots of corruptors here and tempests are not that great versus corruptors, especially the mass amounts of them. But with so many cannons and batteries to heal me up and the tempest parked perfectly above the batteries and the cannons on the right side. So the vipers or like fungos cannot touch them. I am able to defend the first wave, but here comes another wave and more juicy, juicy disruptor shots. This is my favorite part of uh, of the challenge when the AI tries to go up the ramp with like a massive army, and I just throw the disruptor shots to kill these uh, units. I'm running out of disruptor shots, even though I have like 14 disruptors here, I'm running out of disruptor shots because <laughs> I'm, I'm sending so many of them and Tempests are not killing the units quickly enough, so I have to rely on the disruptors to kill the ground army. I've been trading very efficiently, so far I barely lost any units, only a couple of buildings. My bank is going up and like I said I have all the expansions saturated, but soon my bases are going to be mining out so I'll be trying to think about taking the low ground base and this is the biggest point of uh, the fights versus the AI where I will eventually have to go down the ramp to try to reclaim that expansion and I must not allow an AI, my AI my AI <laughs> my opponent's AI to mine from that expansion as you can see the AI is trying to make a command center here trying to find any kind of trades that I uh, that I can I'm using double cybermen score to upgrade my units as well. More cannons, more batteries. I just need to wait out a little bit more. I cannot really go down the ramp right now because the AIs are still working with 
a substantial amount of money in here. So I cannot be reckless with trying to go down the ramp, even though it's looking good and safe for me to do. It's much better for them to waste these armies on a single ramp rather than trying to defend uh, a broader uh, area with the disruptors in the temple. So I'm keeping my my army on the high ground. There's also quite a big problem in this challenge versus the fan where they are having a lot of tours because tours have splash damage and when there's like you know five to six tours the tempests die rather quickly i had a couple of instances where i had like 13 or 14 tempests stuck together trying to fight the army and i you know i usually ignore tours but in this challenge i had to manually like target fire them with the disruptors because i knew how deadly they are to the tempest pumps even uh I, when the tempests are above shield batteries so I'm paying very close attention with the disruptors against the tours. The Immortals are also quite annoying to deal with because you need like three Disruptor shots to kill them and they kill the Disruptors and Cannons very quickly. The AI also abducts the Tempest, not very often but often enough. And the Ultralisks are extremely dangerous as well simply because you cannot force field the ramp against them, they break the force fields. So I need to back off with my Disruptors and wait for the Ultralisks to die and then try to force field the ramp. My Disruptors are so far away that I cannot really get a very very good shot with them. And I run out of disruptor shots and there's still a huge army my, on my ramp and the Ultralisks are pushing forward and there's so many Immortals here. It's not a good situation for me and, and I've been broken with this kind of army numerous times so I'm thinking that I'm quite in danger right now. But as long as my old disruptors are alive, it's good. There was also one disruptor shot from the AI that could blow up like 10 of my disruptors but I shot the disruptor shot first and I killed it before the, my disruptors got blown up. I got very scared for that moment. My batteries are running out of energy and I don't have a super battery anymore, I just used it. And the AIs are slowly starting to break in. I lost pretty much all of my cannons and all that's left is Disruptors and Tempest. Lots of batteries survive though. So I'm trying to rebuild the cannons as soon as possible. I'm starting to think this is the time to try to secure the base that I was talking about on the log run. I thought I dealt with the uh, armies quite well. I still have a lot of money left. So it's time for me to use the a little bit of time that I have before the next AI attack to get that expansion. My upgrades are looking very good. I think at this point I have like 223 or something like that on my on my units. But now I see this huge army, like Vikings, Liberators and so on, I'm like, oh my god, I'm out of here. So many tours as well, Ravens, Vikings, everything there. But I'm like, okay, I'm not taking this expansion yet, I need to back off a little bit. I also am running out of Disruptor Shots, and remember what I said, you need three Disruptor Shots to one-shot a tour. 
And I'm running out of the disruptor shots to even clear the ground army. Even though I have like 13 disruptors here. I cannot come very close with the disruptors as well because there are a couple of siege tanks. And if I lose all these disruptors, I don't really have the time to rebuild this, uh, this amount. So when there is like a next AI attack coming, I might not be able to survive. So I'm being very, very careful with my units. And we're approaching the late game because the AIs are starting to build battle cruisers, the Vipers, the Ravens. They're very expensive units to make. And like one battle cruiser or two battle cruisers are not a threat to me because I have this many Tempest. I defended, I think, the hardest part so far, but now I see like a mass amount of Corruptors and I have no Splash Damage. I don't have Storm here. I don't have any Splash Damage for the air. No Archons, no Storm, nothing. Only Cannons and a little bit of Tempest action. So I was very afraid of this attack. Even my Cannons are blinding clouded by the Vipers and my Tempest count is thinning, but it's not so bad because some of the Corruptors are using Caustic Sprays on the buildings. The Brutalos are also draining a lot of my shield battery energy. <clears throat> At this point, I think I'm trying to slowly transition into the carriers and the AI is trying to break the middles like I was talking about previously. So I'm starting to worry uh, because I'm going to be attacked from two sides very, very soon. I still have a little bit of time left, but I really need to start getting this expansion going. But it doesn't look like I'm able to get it anytime soon. The reason why I'm slowly starting to get into the carrier count is because I need to start clearing the armies faster. The Tempests take too long to fight and carriers uh, are starting to be, you know, with the amount of ar money that I have, carriers are going to be the, the efficient way of clearing the armies. Because Tempest and the Disruptor are simply not clearing the armies quickly enough. My expansions are running dry. I'm really starting to worry that I will not be able to claim the expansion on time. As you can see, this expansion is fully dry. The middles have been mined and the AI can approach me from the other, another angle. I ch I'm checking if I have all the upgrades. I'm at free fear free at this point, so I don't need more upgrades. In this situation, I'm worried about like losing even one or two disruptors. Like, as you can see, Immortals are still surviving the disruptor shots and I lose like one disruptor there. But the addition of Curse is pretty good as well because they kind of take the aggro of the units that are fighting the interceptors and then the, like, the melee units are coming near the disruptors. It's a very hectic fight. I'm starting to run low on money. And I'm being attacked on the 12 o'clock as well, expansion, or like 11 o'clock, whatever you want to call it. So many tours, more battle cruisers. I only have 9 disruptors left, which is very little. I must be, like, I was thinking right now that the AIs are going to be running dry on middles or, or gas right now, right? Because my expansions are running dry. This is like the only expansion that has medals and the one that is uh, mining right here in the center of the screen. So I thought these are the only expansions that have like lots of medals left. But I was wrong. I think at that point they, I had like still like 8,000 or so medals left in the bank. I'm quite happy with the position because I'm just waiting for the batteries to finish and I never survived to the point that I was able to claim this expansion. I always died before. So this is the first time where I got to the 25th minute mark with an expansion on the low ground, pushing back the AIs. But now that the AI took the middles of the other expansion and has another avenue to my base, I'm starting to worry that I cannot defend only on one position, but I need to worry about two. Luckily, there's not a lot of anti-air there, so it's all about just losing as little as possible uh, of structures, but the carriers are going to clear this army quite well, but I leave the disruptors at the front because there's no attack happening there.
once again I'll take a look at my bank and it's not looking pretty. I'm relying on a lot on the carriers and remember the interceptors cost mineral so every time I lose a couple of interceptors here and there I need to rebuild them and I only have one expansion left and the AIs do not stop attacking. So I'm not and I'm nowhere near close to finishing the challenge for now but it's still the best position that I've been in all of my attempts. I'm trying to build more static defense, but there's only so much room that I can do here. More Ultralis are coming, but luckily they were blocked by the Roaches, so the Disruptor Shots got very uh, big hits. I lose one carrier there, and I was quite unhappy about it, because I cannot really even rebuild the carriers. I don't have the, <laughs> the Stargates or the Fleet Beacon, because the Protoss army on the back destroyed all of it. And I don't want to spend my money on rebuilding the tech structures, and I also don't have a lot of space there. To, to build those structures. It's such a tiny amount of space that I am working with in that expansion. I'm even starting to use the uh, first disruptor shots on like workers. That's and the first this, GG? And that's the first GG that I uh, hear from the AI. Are we doing this? Oh, so many crockers. When I saw the first GG, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm doing it. it. Like, they shouldn't have that much of an army left. And now I see this massive Zerg army with so many Corruptors here. I'm like, oh my god, there's no way I'm going to win this challenge. And I don't want to start another 30 or 40 minute game. This is looking very grim for me. At this point, I'm also starting to worry that I will be eliminated. This is basically the only army that I have left and I have to win the game with it. I have no more money to rebuild my army, nor I have the structures to re rebuild it. I'm also heavily supply block because, of course, I lost all of my pylons. So I need to survive through the 9 disruptors and the handful of Tempest and carriers. I need to be extra careful of not losing any, uh, any amount of units now. I see a huge Protoss army approaching. I thought there would not have another army like that. And even though it has no anti-air, I was still worried that I might lose extra buildings. Like even a single pylon or a single battery that I'm going to be losing is a threat to me because I'll be eventually eliminated if I have no buildings to work with. My army might be strong, but if I have no buildings, I cannot continue playing. I see another Zerg army, but once again, not a lot of anti-air. So I'm happy to trade pretty much for free. I'm not losing any buildings now. I want to create a little bit more batteries, but I don't have a cybernetic score. So I'm trying to rebuild the gateway. There's so little space <laughs> for my buildings in here. And another GG. That's minus two players already, but there's a huge Protoss army with so many Archons and Voidways. I'm like, oh no, this is not looking good again. Luckily, my upgrades were very, very good. Free, free, free. And I was able to clear that army before they were approaching my buildings. The 
I'm desperately trying to protect my expansion while also pushing the AIs a little bit forward because I want to get those minerals for the potential interceptors. I have a lot of money, so I'm not too worried about losing the interceptors right now. It's much more important to not lose these buildings. There's another huge army coming into my, uh, to my base and I'm a bit worried that there might be more. I'm still clearing it quite efficiently, losing most of my probes, but not losing the, uh, the most important part which is the Nexus and the batteries and the cannons, which are helping me to trade efficiently every time AI comes with a new army. The fact that I'm being attacked from two sides really doesn't help me to secure the frontal expansion, which is the last batch of minerals left on the map. I noticed that the AIs really love hallucinations. Whenever they're fighting with the sentries, they always hallucinate even parts of the army. I was quite surprised by how big of armies the AI still has left. It's 32 minutes into the game, they've been losing army after army after army, and there's just more of them. It's just an impossible task to be the 12 AIs right like that. That's what I thought. I'm basically left with like, I think, four or five probes in total. Heavily supply blocks, but at least a lot of minerals to replace my interceptors. If I lose any units right now, it's almost irreplaceable because I need to build additional pylons to create an army. And I don't want to be losing my even precious hundred minerals on pylons. So I'm being, once again, extra careful of not using any units. I'm very, very afraid of moving out even slightly out on the map. Simply because I don't want to be caught off guard by, you know, 15 or 16 corruptors and losing a single carrier before I can retreat to the batteries. I barely survived with an observer there and the observer is quite important for me in this situation because I want to clear the creep tower because I have no other detection. With the, with the creep, it's just annoying to deal with because I don't, I'm not able to build structures on the creep. So the observer was very important to me uh, and it survived briefly. I feel like this is going quite well for me. I'm able to take another expansion. If I can secure this Nexus, that's a lot of minerals that I can uh, use for the interceptors. But now... The AI is trying to steal money from me <laughs> by mining my own minerals in the expansion. <laughs> and for me, even 5 minerals is quite a lot because Interceptors cost, I think, 15 minerals. So even if I lose a couple of minerals, that's like minus one interceptors. And every single interceptor, every single piece of mineral is very important in, at this stage of the game. And now I see this army of Zerg. And I feel like I'm doomed. Even I got abducted a couple of times. Neural Parasite. Where did this army even come from? So many corruptors. I noticed that the Zerg didn't finish off the two carriers at the top, so I was quite happy about that. But there's so many Ultras, I don't have Disruptor shots. I don't want to lose these Disruptors either. Not a lot of anti-air left. And I'm left with only four carriers and Tempest. Couple of Disruptors as well. Here comes another army, this time for Protoss. Luckily for me, that was not a lot of anti-air. But I was very worried for my disruptors because I don't have a lot of carriers, it's mostly Tempest. And I'm slowly losing my disruptor count, which is not what I wanted. 
Only five disruptors left left for me. At this point, as you can see, my money, I, I can barely afford the interceptors. And I don't have an economy. I have like four or three probes left. At this point, I thought this must be the last attack of the AIs, right? They cannot have even more army coming my way. But I'm extremely afraid of moving out on the map, because once again, if I see this kind of army that we saw a couple of minutes ago again, I have no way of, uh, of surviving if I'm outside of the batteries and the cannons. At this point, I'm using even disruptors just to try to clear the Cryptomers because I have no detection here and I don't want to spend 150, 150 on an Oracle or rebuilding. And I see so many Corruptors, I'm like, oh my god, I cannot lose a single carrier here. Luckily, I didn't use a single area unit because I was able to retreat with my units quickly enough to the batteries. But at this point, I'm asking myself, how much more money do they have? They keep coming with more Corruptors, more Archons, more Roaches and everything. And at this point I'm really struggling with more money. At this point I haven't been attacked in a while, so I'm thinking, do they really run out of money? Is there nothing else? But I see an Archon, I see another army here moving around, moving back. I'm very afraid of moving out. I also see a relatively big army from the Zerg on the top side, so even if I move out, I'm afraid of like a little bit of a base trading situation. Uh, I'm not sure even if AI would do that, but if I move out and they started attacking me, I would have to use like a recoil or something to come back. And I cannot rebuild the buildings that I would lose in the meantime. So I'm trying to posture just a, a little bit outside of my base to see if I can get some buildings. That's another GG from another AI and I'm one step closer to completing the challenge but here comes the baser that I was afraid of. I don't want to lose the disruptors. The AI is surprisingly good at microing like the individual units versus the disruptors. When the armies are big they don't give a shit but when the armies are super uh, like small like even like handful of roaches or zerglings they split better than the best turns in the world. <laughs> At this point, the AIs are like sprinkling only small amounts of units at me every time and they lose the, these units, so I think I am capable of moving out a little bit further this time. But here comes again the, the attack of the Zerg, big disruptor shots, even borrowing the Ultra got deleted by the disruptors. These are the only minerals left on the map, and we're all fighting for them. 
Once again, I'm trying to find some Aethermos with the Disruptors because I have no detection. But at this point, I don't even think I want to make a Nexus to make this base. Another handful of units got, pl got cleaned up by the army. I'm leaving my, temp my Disruptors here for the defense of the potential against the base rate. And I'm being more bold with my army this time. I'm being very careful with my army at any point that there are, I don't know, some burrowed infestors with Nero. Is this over? Did we do it? Oh my goodness. I think they have no more money. I hope so. I'm so afraid to move out now. I'm so afraid. They're like trying to steal my money. Last attack, maybe? I think they have no more money. Like, they're retreating from mine. I think we're doing this. Okay, let's start to move out a bit. I have a recall if necessary. If I find myself in a dire situation. I'll make one more carrier. Get the armor I saw. Move. I'm afraid like there's one big army of an AI, but it's hard to tell. Start breaking them. GG, okay. I don't know how many are left. I think they have no more armies, right? This is the like the only threat. I think we've done it. I think this is it. I still haven't seen the right side of the map entirely. I'm not sure if there's like a camping AI uh, army. This is the only one, right? This has to be it. Still have some hydras. No, that's good. This is good. Oh my god, this is the impossible challenge. <laughs> I'm still afraid to move out. But at least the top side is getting cleared quite nicely. There's some spores. I can barely afford interceptors, which is a problem, but I don't think they have enough static defense to, to kill all the interceptors. I still have some minerals left here. Come on. I don't want to make a nexus here, I don't think it's really worth it, we'll just long distance mine here. I need every single piece of mineral that is left on the map to get the interceptors possibly. Get even one more carrier, okay, can we move out here? It's a bit risky, but let's try to clear the south side. Let's just appear. Here that's fine. The last pieces of units, I think, for this AI. GG. Okay. I think there's like five left. Okay. Let's go. I think I think that's it. They have no more money. Let's go. Let's clear them up. 
Oh my god, I cannot believe this. It got so close, like to the last pieces of minerals right there. If I lost a little bit more, I would have been dead. Let's kill the main structures. Oh, don't kill the disruptors. Oh, this. <laughs> the AI micro versus disruptors, man. So sick. Oh, there's still some rocks here, but I think. Uh, yeah, there's no army. Okay. How many? How many are left? I, I lost the track. Lost the count. At this point, the rest of the game is me trying to clear the eyes before they surrender. And I was able to complete the challenge with around 50 minutes on the clock. Only player 12 left. Let's find player 12. Is this guy? It's over! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> 1 versus 12 insane cheaters! Oh my god, we made it! Over 50 minutes! Oh, I'm so happy that we made it! I cannot believe I did it. That's so insane. Hope you guys enjoyed this fight. Non stop action right there. I. I barely won, I barely won, but we made it. One base <laughs> left, I barely any minerals to build the interceptors. Oh, that's it, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, video. I wish you a pleasant rest of today. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content and I'll see you on the next episode of whatever I upload. Bye bye, take care.